Hi, I'm Pastor David with Declaration Church. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Today is the last day of 2021 as I'm filming this video. And as I was preparing for this video, as I was looking at the end of the year, looking at the start of another one, looking at all of those things that I think all of us have a tendency to look at as we close out one year and move into another, I came across a verse that really spoke to me because I think so many of us look at the coming of a new year and we look at it on one side as an opportunity to start over and have this great, you know, make these changes in our lives. You know, oh, I'm going to eat better. Or I'm going to exercise more. I'm going to read more this year. I'm going to, you know, we set all these goals. And we call them New Year's resolutions, right? And then we don't follow through most of the time. By the end of January, we've moved on from those things and we're right back into that old routine. It's just a time for another trip around the sun, right? And the worst part about that is that is so counter to what Jesus wants for us. It's so counter to what the Bible teaches about our life in Christ because we are called to live differently. We are called to live a new way. And this, this passage of scripture, I'm actually gonna read four verses for you. It's in Romans chapter six, verses one through four. It's amazing to me how this is just describing how we should probably approach this new year. So closing out one year, moving into the next, let's make this a part of the way that we focus every day on how we live so that our lives reflect the newness of life that has always been intended for us as disciples, as followers of Jesus. It says this, what shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin that grace may abound? Should we just keep living the same way we've always lived before we came to Christ? Should we just follow along, go through life, follow the patterns one day after the next, looking at things, just maintaining their normalcy? By no means, Paul says, by no means, absolutely not. There's no way, there's no reason. This is absolutely not the way we should be living. No, instead, how can we who died to sin still live in it? He's saying, how is it possible if we've died to sin with Jesus, if we have committed our lives to him, we have placed ourselves on the cross, not physically, okay, metaphorically, placed ourselves on the cross. If we have done that, how can we now, being raised with Christ, live the same way we did before that? It doesn't make any sense. Verse three, do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too, just like Jesus, might walk in the newness of life. We are supposed to walk a different way. We're supposed to live differently. Our lives should look different after we receive Jesus, after we begin following him. Our lives should change. And it shouldn't just be in a moment, in an instant there where everything is different and new. No, no, no. Every single day that we live our lives, every day, we should be changing and growing and becoming more and more like Jesus. We should be experiencing the new life that is available to us in Christ every single day to in ever increasing degree. That's what Jesus intends for us. That's what Jesus wants. And that is so exciting to me. I want to live that way. I want my life to constantly be growing and changing and evolving to look more and more like I belong to Jesus. I want to live my life in a way that reflects positively on who Jesus is and how much he loves us and he loves the world. That's what I want. And that's what Jesus offers. So today, as you're looking at 2021, looking backwards at all of this last year and looking forward to 2022, as you're looking out towards the new year, I want to encourage you to live a life that is ever-changing and being 
being changed by Jesus and the Holy Spirit and their influence on your life. Allow God to influence you in positive ways and begin to live a life that is constantly growing, changing, evolving in positive ways because that's what Jesus wants for you and there is no life like it anywhere else. This should be encouraging to you. And if it's encouraging to you, if it's challenging to you to take a new look at 2022 and really live a life that is being changed by Jesus on a daily basis, give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe to the channel so every time we post new content, you're notified and you and I can continue to walk together as we grow as disciples. I wanna to continue to encourage you and you being a part of this channel and following this encourages me as well. So let's continue to walk together as we grow in Christ through his word and his Holy Spirit's influence on us every single day. Let's make 2022 a, a year of positive change for all of us as we become more like Jesus. As always, I'm Pastor David and I'm out. Happy New Year.